Rind. The word rind has multiple meanings depending on the context in which it is used. Let's explore its different meanings and provide examples to illustrate each one. 1. Outer covering of a fruit or vegetable. In this sense, rind refers to the tough, outer layer of a fruit or vegetable that is usually removed before eating. It can be thin or thick, depending on the type of fruit or vegetable. Some common examples include orange rind. The orange rind is the bright, orange-colored outer layer of an orange. It is often used to add flavor to dishes or to make zest for baking. Watermelon rind. The watermelon rind is the green, tough outer layer of a watermelon. It is typically not eaten, but it can be pickled or used in recipes like stir fries or salads. Cheese rind. Certain types of cheese have a natural rind that forms during the aging process. The rind can be edible or inedible, depending on the type of cheese. 2. Outer covering of a meat. In this context, rind refers to the tough outer layer of fat on certain cuts of meat. It is often removed before cooking or eating. Some examples include bacon rind. Bacon often has a layer of fat, known as the rind, that is removed before cooking. It can be discarded or used to add flavor to soups or stews. Pork rind. Pork rind, also known as crackling, is the crispy layer of fat that forms on top of roasted pork. It is considered a delicacy in some cuisines. 3. Outer layer of a cheese. In the world of cheese, rind can also refer to the outer layer that forms during the aging process. The rind can vary in texture and flavor, and it can be natural or artificially created. Some examples include brie rind. Brie cheese has a soft, white rind that is edible and adds a distinctive flavor to the cheese. Camembert rind. Camembert cheese also has a soft, white rind that is edible. It contributes to the creamy texture and earthy flavor of the cheese. Blue cheese rind. Blue cheese, like Roquefort or Stilton, has a natural rind that develops during the aging process. It is not typically eaten, but it helps to protect and preserve the cheese. In summary, the word rind can refer to the outer covering of a fruit or vegetable, the outer layer of fat on certain cuts of meat, or the outer layer of a cheese. Each context has its own specific usage and examples, and understanding these different meanings can help in better comprehension and communication.